We're broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where it's so human you can drink the air. You know what? You can drink the air, Grim. I'll stick with my cough syrup and scotch with a beer chaser, thank you. While we're on this subject, anyone seen my air pang go or lip cream? Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Malice Hellboys take on the Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions, water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. First down, and the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. First and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! for that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First and ten. Oh, 
sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Graham. I don't even get out of it. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. partner maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too third down and the offense needs a miracle they pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this that ball just sliced through the defense like butter i wish defenses were made out of butter that'd be big and bricks they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play and i just made up a new name for a sandwich and that'll bring up third and one. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Second down in a very lot. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. Second down in a lot. Oh. 
Kick this far. You just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. And he just wrestles away from that. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. harder than that and that is unfortunate <laughs> second down and more than the QB would like was an all-pro NFL hit. trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on their sideline. The QB threads the needle for two points. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. It's first and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called s the kick is good! Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Turner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. The defenders want to just kicked in. And the defense falls for that trick all the time. <laughs> now they're mopping the players off the field. Literally. First down in a mile. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down in a very lot. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. down and never gonna happen. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! And he gets three yards on that run. <laughs> a timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Third down and a sliver. Give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Need to Watch Yourself. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's Cooper Knight at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching his cheeks, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the Axe Murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and Zapter, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I guess it worked for her. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Oh, geez, Graham, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. <laughs> When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? done for a first down. And it's first and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second and three. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten.
never seen a demon smile so much. He says his secret is that he's poisoned the mind of a thousand men. <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. Well, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novakin. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> And this is a first and long. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the refs. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> first down and forever. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and nine. And he rumbles for nine on that play. Third down and a pussy here. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. A pickup of about three on that play. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark 
tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, Fluffy. way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he picked up a lot of real estate in a hurry. Give him ten yards right there. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that player has one speed. He's the bullet, and the offense is the target. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's 
first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. Second down and a lot. Oh, that's a... And the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Third down and long. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. You've got to catch that. Third down and three. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their peak boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. There's something went very wrong with that box away. What was your first hit? A lack of blood? Everyone having all their limbs? He's your Second down and ten. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go, Don't You Eat That Yellow Snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Third and two. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Five-yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Briggs. Three color work as usual. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
with the brutal hit. First and four. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. Huge pass play for one yard. <laughs> Second down, and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? He had it for a second there. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make the Vultures limp away defeated. Yeah, they look so sad, Grim. I kind of feel sorry for them. They deserve a participation award. Screw those losers. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.